Hello everyone. In today's video, I am going to speak about foodborne illness. Food is an essential requirement for humans, but it can also be a vehicle of disease transmission if contaminated with harmful microbes like bacteria, viruses, fungi, some parasites, chemicals, and toxins. Globally, billions of people are at risk of foodborne diseases and millions fall ill every year. Many also die as a result of consuming unsafe food. Foodborne illness are mainly caused due to food contamination with harmful bacteria, viruses, parasites, toxins or chemicals. Microbial and chemical risk could be introduced at the farm level, that is by using water contaminated by industrial based or storage of food and food products. Foodborne diseases are more critical in developing countries due to various reasons such as use of unsafe water for cleaning and processing of food, poor food production processes and food handling, absence of adequate food storage infrastructure and inadequate or poorly enforced regulatory standards. The tropical climate in many countries in the region also favors the proliferation of pests and naturally occurring toxins and increase the risk of contracting parasitic diseases including worm infestation. When certain disease causing bacteria like bacteria, viruses or parasites contaminate food, they can cause foodborne illness, often called food poisoning. Foods that are contaminated may not look, taste or smell any different from foods that are safe to eat. Salmonella, Campylobacter, Shigella and Escherichia coli, also called E. coli, are the common bacteria that cause food, foodborne illness. Salmonella is the most common cause of foodborne illness. The symptoms of FBDs range from mild and self-limiting, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, with or without blood, to debilitating and life-threatening diseases such as kidney and liver failure, brain and neural disorders, paralysis and potential cancers, leading to long periods of absenteeism from birth and premature death. After eating tainted food, abdominal cramps, diarrhea, and vomiting can start as early as one hour or within three days, depending upon the foodborne pathogen, type of toxin, and level of food contaminant. Let us discuss about some common foodborne infections that we often suffer from. First one is by fungal agents and the important uh, foodborne illness is caused by mushrooms. Mushrooms cause gastrointestinal irritation. Etiology, resin type poisonous substances found in some types of mushrooms irritates our gut and causes diarrhea, vomiting, body pain and mild fever. The incub incubation period for the mushroom to enter in our body is from 30 minutes to 2 hours. Signs and symptoms include nausea, vomiting, itching, diarrhea, and abdominal pains. Contributing factors are ingestion of unknown toxic varieties of mushroom through confusion with other edible varieties. Bacterial agents. The first one is cholera caused by endo enterotoxin of Vibrio cholerae classical. Etiology is from feces of infected persons. Incubation period for the disease is from 1 to 3 days. Signs and symptoms are severe watery diarrhea, vomiting, abdominal pains, dehydration, thirst, shrivel fingers, sunken eye. Contributing factors are food washed or prepared with contaminated water, harvesting of fish from water contaminated with sewage in endemic areas, poor personal hygiene, infected handlers who touched food, inadequate cooking, 
use of contaminated water in washing or rinsing food improper disposal of wastewater use of wastewater from latrines as fertilizer next is the diarrhea of excretia coli etiology is through contaminated foods the incubation period is from half a day to 3 days signs and symptoms are severe abdominal pain fever watery diarrhea and tenesmus contributing factors include salads and other food that are not thermally treated inadequate cooking infected persons touching food ready for consumption not washing hands after defecation storing food in the refrigerator or in large containers salmonella cysts various zero types of salmonella are the causative agent for salmonella cysts etiology is from feces of infected people and animals the incubation period is from 6 hours to 72 hours and average from 18 to 36 hours signs and symptoms include abdominal pain diarrhea chills fever nausea vomiting and malaise contributing factors are inadequate refrigeration of food inadequate cooking and reheating preparation of food several hours before serving cross contamination improper cleaning of equipment infected handlers etc next is viral gastroenteritis caused by enteric viruses like ecovirus rheovirus and adenovirus the incubation period is from 3 to 5 days signs and symptoms include diarrhea fever vomiting abdominal pains symptoms respiratory symptoms contributing factors are food ready for consumption poor personal hygiene infected workers touching food improper cooking and reheating next one is amoebic dysentery caused by amoebic dysentery that is amoebiosis caused by entamoeba histolytica incubation period is from a few days to several months usually between 2 and 4 weeks the signs and symptoms include abdominal pains constipation or diarrhea with bladder mucus contributing factors are vegetables and raw fruits poor personal hygiene infected handlers touching the food improper cooking and reheating food safety is a shared responsibility all food operators and consumers should understand the rules they must play to protect their health and that of the wider community foodborne diseases are preventable world health organization is promoting the important role that everyone can play to promote food safety through system of disease prevention and awareness programs world health organizations five keys to safer food explains the basic principles that each individual should know all over the world wash raw fruits and vegetables with tap water keep clean hands kitchen and chopping wood all the time separate raw and cooked food do not mix raw food and ready to eat food do not mix raw meat fish and raw vegetables cook thoroughly thoroughly cook all meat and seafood especially shellfish reheat all leftovers until they are steaming hot keep food at safe temperatures refrigerate cook food with two hours of preparation never defrost food at room temperature use safe water and raw materials use safe drinking water for preparation check use by date and label while buying packed processing food